In this video, I will show you how to cash out a customer in a retail store using point of sale within Total Management Evolution software. From the Home tab of the POS portion of the software, you will see all open orders that have not been completed yet for any number of reasons. But in most cases, it's because the item that was purchased had to be special ordered and has not arrived yet. I'll cover that in our POS special order video. Now here above on the right side, you can filter in a few different ways. If you know the order number, you can enter it here. You can sort this list by all POS, open only, invoiced only, or estimate only. Let's jump over and set up our defaults first. We'll select user options, under station preferences, receipt, We'll select sales order narrow. Our light pole printer should be blank. Light pole COM port should be set to none. Invoice POS needs a selection as well, but that depends on whether or not you want to show your customers discounted prices. Cash drawer printer should always be set to OCD for open cash drawer. Under user preferences POS, We'll first select your POS prepared by. This is the person who is most commonly ringing up your customers at the POS station. In this case, I'm going to select myself. POS payer. Let me explain. Cash customer is the term we use for a sale that doesn't require us to order an item. This is simply a customer browsing the store and purchasing items you readily have available on display. Select customer is more for the personal touch, but is not recommended for busy retail stores as it can be a bit time consuming to enter the customer's information. It is, of course, your preference. In this case, I will select cash customer, which is most common. Selecting cash customer here allows me, as the cashier, to quickly ring up my customer and finalize their sale so they are not waiting in line. The default POS person would come into effect if your sales in the retail store were commission-based. Most retail stores are not set up that way, so for this video, I'll leave it blank. We'll jump over to the Reports tab, Set Printers. Now in this case, we're looking for the Receipt Printer. You'll find your printer on the list, highlight it, set the preference, select Done. And now we're going to jump back over to the Home tab as we're ready to complete an order now. Now I'll select New POS Order in the bottom left corner. Now if I had a scanner attached to my computer, I could just scan the item now. But for video purposes, I'm going to just go ahead and enter them manually. Now you'll notice how the focus stays in the same box over and over. And you just enter items over and over in the same spot. And they appear at the list below. Now let's say your customer is purchasing two of the electronic connectors. Instead of entering the number again, which optionally you can, but if you prefer to just change the quantity, you'll select edit, change the quantity here from one to two, hit enter on the keyboard, and go to new item. And now we're back to here. Okay, let's say your customer is looking for an LP hose that she found in the store, but there wasn't any on the shelf. We'll quickly come down to item search. We'll select inventory only because this is just items within the store. And up in the contains field here, I'll type in LP hose, hit enter on the keyboard, and here it is. And if I look over here on the right, I see that our quantity on hand is zero. So I say to my customer, I'm sorry, we don't have any in stock right now. I could special order one for you. The customer decides, you know what, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to pass. For our records, your cashier at this point should come over and click on Lost Sale. Say yes to confirm. How many do you want to purchase one? This information is saved for the store manager to review in the future. Now once all items have been scanned or entered, I'll select Complete Sale and Process over here in orange on the left. I'll select my payment method. In this case, I'll say the customer gave cash. I'll enter the dollar amount that the customer has given me. 
I'll hit enter. The change that's due back to your customer appears here. Then we'll select apply payments, print receipt, start new sale. Our receipt will print for our customer and we're ready to begin a new sale. In our next video, I will cover special order POS sales.